in this video i will show you how to model this opera house in sydney in revit so in this uh, tutorial i just model this big one shape of this opera house okay because the, this is only typical so i just choose the big one so i can i i can show how to model this kind of shape including this two entrance here in the both side okay so let's get straight to the tutorial so in this project okay I just close this I use this uh, architectural template so Please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to share or like this video. So let's start modeling now. Okay, first thing I will do is to command the units for the setup of the dimension. Okay, and I just simply command RP okay, for the shortcut reference line and I just rename it into one and two okay so now I just go to this elevation to set this into 11 meters okay and LL shortcut LL for the label and let's say this one is nine okay I just want to uh, insert the image here and I just drew the shape but we are taking a long time so I decided it to draw uh, to set it like this okay so now I just go to level one and I just go to component. Okay, component. I just choose the model in place and the mass. Okay. What I'm going to do is to place a point in this reference line. Okay, I just simply pick this to copy or I just set this into 10. Okay. 10 and this is also 10. Okay, and I just simply place a point here and control shift to select this two. And I use the arrow key for this one. Okay. We bend it. Okay. Or I just set this into 15 maybe okay so once you have this okay draw a spline to this point for now is uh, the, the layout is like this but we can adjust it later okay and I just simply window this one okay DM for the shortcut to the draw mirror axis okay okay so now there is one extra point element there I simply delete and window it and make a spline again Okay, so once you have this, okay, go to, or I just simply place a point first to all of the corner for this one. Okay. This point is the giving a shape later to this 
kind of angle okay so now what i'm going to do is to go to each elevation each elevation i just simply pick this okay and i just simply drag it into the 11 or yes okay this is the 11 okay and i just simply window this one or yes and i just simply make it drag it into i think uh, let's say this eight okay because this is the tall and i just window this one and is line again for that one with this and drag it like this okay so now the same as sorry this is the in the top one okay and simply pick this and like this i mean this is the bigger one smaller one okay and you see the same here okay this line place a point here okay and window and make a point driving modify window again and drag it like this okay so this is the our model now okay so now we need to make adjustment to the side okay so what i'm going to do is to little bit drag this one remember this is smaller one is lower only from the level of this big one okay but in the image it's showing the same uh, dimension of in this part okay so what i'm going to do is go to 3d okay or is elevation and i just simply counter check the dimension it okay so it, i think it's okay because we get the reference in the middle okay so we start going to 3d now okay and just simply window this two is flying okay to place a point here and delete this one okay and now make a spline there okay and I simply window this or i just place one more point here okay window this one Okay, is flying. Okay, okay, go to site. Okay, and pick this three by holding control shape okay dm for draw mirror axis or mm 
Oh, sorry. DM, okay. So we wrote it in the other side. Okay. So now go to 3D. Select this and go to East. Okay, and drag it this. So all equal already. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to make now the shell of all of these uh, lines. Okay. So to do that one, okay, one by one, control sheet. Okay. Create form, solid form. I choose the extrusion one and I just simply add a parameter here. Okay. Tick. And you can adjust it here by point two. Okay. And find realistic. So this is the output okay so select this and change the material of okay give some bold white okay only the color that is no problem is yes, change this into shaded okay and do it all of this one okay this let's say this is seven okay so it's more uh, seven okay so it's going down and go to north or west we do it the same Now I go to this elevation, okay. I just simply hit finish and change it into fine realistic, okay. And I just simply go to site plan. Okay. And I just simply draw a rectangle 
like this okay and hit finish okay and is the material of this concrete okay let's say masonry units Okay. and shortcut rr okay best okay and skyberry view clouds basic render okay and let's see the output Okay, so thank you to all of you. I hope that the it's very clear the procedure what I did in this uh, tutorial. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. So it's helped me out a lot, especially your updated or everyone updated once I make a video tutorial like this. See you in my next video.